Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the review. And for this video, we're going back to 1983 in the fantastic NBC science fiction miniseries, V. For those of you that don't know, a miniseries was an epic television event. Two to five movies spread out over the course of a week. These are usually preceded by a huge marketing campaign in magazines, newspapers, and television commercials. Tonight is your chance to see how it all began, to relive the excitement that is V, the most extraordinary miniseries ever. A daring TV journalist struggling to uncover the startling truth behind the alien's visit to Earth, and a beautiful and brave young scientist fighting for the very survival of the human race. Together, they take you on a fantastic journey to meet the visitors. Prepare yourself for a television event that's out of this world. Prepare for V. Next. V was a two-part miniseries that told the story of an alien invasion of Earth. The aliens arrived in 50 gigantic motherships that positioned themselves over major cities. And they said the reason they came was to manufacture chemicals using elements and minerals that were not available on their planet. In turn, the visitors, as they became to be called, would share with us their knowledge and technology. The visitors appeared to be human, but they had to wear special goggles to shield themselves from bright light, and they had this really cool vibrating voice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening to all of you. It gives us visitors great pleasure to be here this evening at these ceremonies. But before long, the visitors had infiltrated every part of our lives, our media, our government, and anybody who questioned them or spoke out against them disappeared. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? In one of the most shocking moments in television history, it was revealed that the visitors were in fact reptilian, hiding behind fake human skin, and their true meaning of coming to Earth was to steal our water and harvest food. That food being us. I remember watching that scene, looking between the banisters of our stairway, because we had our TV downstairs in the basement, just shocked. I mean, it was amazing when that face was ripped off and you saw that reptile underneath. They've come to rape our planet and kill us. They are not who they appear to be. V also had an all-star cast. You had the Beastmaster himself, Mark Singer, playing the resistance leader, Mike Donovan. Badass Michael Ironside, playing badass Ham Tyler. Robert Freddy Krueger England, playing Visitor Willie. And Jane Badler, playing the evil and sadistic Visitor Science Officer, Diana. I had such a crush on that lizard. The original V miniseries proved to be so popular that a second miniseries came out in 1984, followed by a regular television show in 1985, though the budget on the TV show was nowhere near as big as the budget for the miniseries, and it showed. I lived and breathed V back in the day. I never missed an episode. I read all the tie-in novels. I collected the Fleer trading cards, and I collected the V comic books by DC. Now, alas, the TV series was nowhere near as good as the miniseries, and it was canceled after only one season. And that brings us to the toys. LJN, the company responsible for the Thundercats, was going to release a series of action figures based on V. But since the series tanked, the line was canceled. Save one 12-inch figure that I've got, well, the package of right here. This was the only official released V figure, and I am so happy to have this guy in my collection, and we'll be going over this shortly. I had no intention of keeping him in the box since the box was destroyed. So imagine my surprise 
when I found out that Funko had released some V pop figures. They got Mike Donovan, Diana, and the Alien Exposed with the reptile face showing through. That is so cool. Now, the only complaint I have with these is right there. The tagline, we are of, we are of peace always. That was the V tagline for the 2009 reboot. That sucked. The tagline for the original V was the visitors are our friends. So that's about the only complaint I have with these V pops. So taking a quick look at the box, here's Mike Donovan. Front of the box, side of the box here, and back shows the visitor motherships and the other three figures, or other two figures, Diana and the Alien Exposed. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at these brand new Funko Pops and the original V figure from the 80s. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. We'll kick things off by looking at the Funko Pop visitor figures first. And something I noticed as soon as I took these guys out of the box, I don't know why I didn't see it through the translucent plastic, was the uniforms are the wrong color. They should be red where these are orange, but that's no biggie. So let's take a look at Mike Donovan first. You got your basic Funko Pop figure. He's got that nice 80s hair. Now, Mike is a human. Of course, he was in disguise quite often in a Vizda uniform, so I guess that's where this figure comes from. Nice sculpted details there on the hair. The uniform, even though being the wrong collar, is very spot on to the television show. You got the visitor emblem right there, the belt that loops all the way around, kind of like that overcoat. You know, the belt goes through the outer coat and then into the bodysuit. The black boots. So yeah, really, really cool. Nothing much to the face sculpt. That's your basic Funko Pop right there. Only articulation is the head can do a complete 360. Looking underneath, you've got that seam right there. That's not really noticeable at all when the figure's on the shelf. So there we have Mike Donovan. Now let's move on to Diana. Now Diana is the only one that came with a stand. And that's something I didn't realize that some Funkos came with stands until a few weeks ago when I was displaying some of my sons. I was wondering why they couldn't stand up and lo and behold, there were stands inside the box. So she has a clear stand. She's got one hole right there in her foot that the stand goes in. So you've got that. She's also holding her favorite snack, a little guinea pig. And you got some paint that is off the guinea pig onto her hand right there. Or the guinea pig crapped himself because he knows what's coming. I love the glasses. The glasses look really good just like the show. Great sculpted detail there on the hair. She's even got a barrette back in the back. I dig it. Really, really cool. Now, what I don't like about Diane, I noticed this in the packaging, is the seam for her head is right there up front where you can see it. And that looks really, really bad. I don't understand why they couldn't have done the same seam like they did for Donovan for Diana. I mean, that really stands out. Her head can also do a complete 360, and that's about it. I mean, another nice uniform. She actually has her pouch right there attached to her belt, so I dig it. There is Diana, and now the main one. I love this one. This is the Alien Exposed. He has the human skin ripped off his face, and now you see what the visitors truly are reptiles and that is spot on to how they looked in the television show the red eyes the sculpted fins up there on the forehead that thing looks great and i love how they have the skin just exploding off of the visitor his head can also do a complete 360 he's got the same bodysuit and the little pouch right there same as diana Right down to the boots, there's the symbol. <laughs> a really cool looking figure. I dig it. Funko, you did a great job with these guys. 
aside from Diana, you should have did a little bit more QC with her. And another thing I like about Funkos is you can take these guys out of the box without damaging the packaging so I can put them back in the box for display. So there's the Funko Pops. Now let's take a look at the original visitor figure. And here he is, the original 12-inch LJN visitor figure from 1984. Now, I never saw this figure on the shelves when I was a kid. I didn't really even know about its existence until a few years ago. And once I got those visitor pops, I had to get this guy. Now, mint in box figures were going for three, four hundred dollars. I was able to get this one for a steal because the box was pretty well beat up, but the figure was attached here on the inside and all the accessories were in that plastic bubble still sealed. So I had no complaints taking this guy out of the box. Now, taking a quick look at the box, the box has some pretty cool artwork from the television show. You've got the visitor with his rubber face exploded. Well, I think it was rubber. It never really said what the skin was made out of. So there's him exposed. You've got the Visitor Shock Trooper with the Visitor Are Our Friends sign or poster. Now, the Visitor here on the poster, that's who I believe this figure is modeled after. So you've got that. you got the Shock Trooper and the Visitor Ship up here on top. They are not what they appear to be. Down here shows that you can unmask the Visitor to reveal his lizard face, extendable tongue, and he's fully posable. Remember that fully posable for later. Side of the box, you got more of the artwork. Unmask the visitor, reveal his face. Same stuff right there. Includes laser weapon and sunglasses. On the back of the box, you've got product shots, how to reveal the face, the tongue. And what I'm really thankful for is this laser gun that he's holding right there. That does not look like the laser pistol the visitors had. That thing looks very generic. Fortunately, the pistol we got is spot on to the show. And let me tell you, to this day, that sound effect that those blasters made is still one of my all-time favorites. So that's pretty much all there is for the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the visitor himself. Now, I did have to purchase this doll stand, so that did not come with the figure. I bought that so he would pose because he doesn't stand too well. But taking a closer look at the figure, he looks really, really good. And like I said, spot on to that poster image. He's wearing a cloth suit that I believe, I've tried to look, I think it's all one piece. Let me get the stand off of him. So it's cloth, it's quilted up here for the vest portion. Just like I showed, the belt goes through the vest and around the waist, and the belt is, it's got a little Velcro snap right there, Velcro snap here on the back, which reveals his button that, uh, I'll go over that here momentarily. Now, when they were talking about fully posable, the only posing you can do with a guy is his head can do a complete 360, but it's very tight, I don't want to move with it or move it too much. The arms can do a complete 360. No elbow bend. This arm here, that is stuck in that position, and that arm is really tight to move. He can grip his laser pistol. Take that out of his hand for now. The legs can go back and forth, and he does have a knee bend, but that is a very, very low knee bend. Now, something interesting with this figure is he has the black boots, but the boots are actually molded into the figure. It's not a separate accessory. The legs are molded as boots as far as the lower legs concerned. I really like the cloth jumpsuit. It, it's a really neat feature. I mean, very Barbie dollish, or I guess Kenish. He does have the visitor logo or insignia right there. The one on the belt, unfortunately, was glued on wrong. I thought about maybe I could pull that off and re-glue it, but I'm afraid I'm going to tear that. As you can see, it just kind of pegs through the plastic, but I am not going to risk tearing this figure up. So yeah, really, really cool looking. I love the fabric. I wish he had a little bit more posability. Now, the way he's looking right here with that arm bent, there's the look in the poster, you know, where he's kind of shaking his hand. The visitors are our friends. 
which leads to the pistol. Once again, the pistol looks exactly like the one featured in the show. So I'm very thankful we didn't get the one on the box. So he's got this hand right here that can kind of hold the pistol. It's not great. It doesn't really point straight. He has that 1977 Star Wars figure pose right there. So this hand, the handshaking hand, is angled a little better. So you can put that in his hand. And there you go. He's still not aiming straight, but it looks better than the way he was holding it all cockeyed. Now, on to his gimmicks. He does come with this pair of sunglasses that can be taken off. Now, it looks like there is some uh, stress marks right there, but that's how it looked exactly out of the package. So I'm going to be very gentle with those. Pull those off. And then you've got his baby blue eyes underneath. Got that blonde hair, blue eye look, which kind of goes with the fascist visitor theme here. And the face sculpt's not too bad. I dig it. It is rubber and very pliable, which leads into his pure gimmick, his true gimmick. And that is to reveal his lizard face. So he's got this split right up the back. You want to use both thumbs. I can't use both thumbs and man the camera. Peel the face off. And now you have the alien visitor face underneath. And that looks great. I love the paint applications, especially there on the eyes. They even painted in the, the shine from the eyes, which is really cool. Great sculpted detail. You can see the scales. I mean, they did a really good job for 1984. Now the button I showed on the back early, you press that, and his tongue sticks out. That's cool. In the show, they could stick their tongue out like this and spit venom. So it was like a defense mechanism they had. So that is really cool. I dig it. Now, with the rubber head, there's actually a slit in the mouth that you can work the tongue and get the tongue through the fake human head there. So it's, it's really hard to do. I'm going to do it later and I'll show you guys because I'm really afraid to mess with that tongue too much. I don't want to break it. But I love that. That is so cool. A nice flashback from my childhood. Let's go ahead and get him put back on his stand here. And there we go. I've got the reptile tongue through the human mask. And that took some work to get that to happen. Now the motion kind of works with that a little bit. The tongue tends to catch on the lip. But still, a pretty cool feature. And there you go, guys, the official licensed figures from V, thanks to Funko and LGN. I am absolutely thrilled that Funko decided to do figures based on V, though I wish they did a better job of Diana as far as a little seam on her face, but still, it is so awesome to have V back. I mean, I love this series, as if you couldn't tell. And I really hope that these sell well and they make more. I would love to see the Visitor Shock Troopers or Martin or Willie, Ham Tyler. There are so many characters that Funko could do with this V series. Now, I picked these up from Amazon.com. And at the time I bought them, I mean, they just came out last month. They're only like $8.95 each. And I'll put a link to where you can get these in the description of this video. Now, as far as my original visitor action figure, I love this guy. I have wanted one of these forever, and I'm so thrilled to finally have one. I'm going to have to make a special V shelf somewhere in here to have this guy displayed. Now, I'm not the biggest Funko guy. I have a few. I've got the Transformer Funkos and a couple Star Wars. But if you like Funko Pops and you want to see some fun reviews, my son Dylan has started his own channel, Dylan's Toy Box, and he is a huge Funko nut, and he's been reviewing quite a few of these pops. Now, it's a made-for-kids channel, so, you know, it is what it is. So, if you have kids or if you just want to check out the future of Patriot Prime Reviews, check out Dylan's Toy Box. Also, I highly recommend, if you have not seen it, the original V miniseries. You got V and then V, the final battle. The series, eh, you could skip it if you want, but the two mini series 
are fantastic. Now, some of the special effects really don't hold up today other than the makeup effects. That's, that's phenomenal. That still looks great today. But the story, the story is where it's at. Now, as of this recording right now, you can't stream V anywhere, but it's available to buy on Blu-ray. And as the Funko Pops, I'll have that linked in the description as well. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!